Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this episode, we are going to be playing some Hypixel Skyblock. So yeah, in the last episode, we are trying to find Arachne, which is a spider boss, and I died literally so many times. The boss could one hit in the gear I am in now. Like, I used to be in, like, farm suit, but then I upgraded, and yet it still wasn't enough. I have 500 HP now, and I'm level 15. I was level 14 at the end of last episode, and but then I went to, like, upgrade minions last night, I think, and then I went to level 15 by accident, and now I'm, like, already almost halfway to level 16. So yeah, I placed down a cow minion with my extra minion slot, and it's at level 2 right now. It is storage is full, so we're going to go ahead and collect from it. Doesn't get many storage space, unfortunately, but we just unlocked our 13th minion slot, which is not bad. I have a separate chest for all the animals now, but I might separate them into cow, chicken, and pig eventually. But for now, we're just going to leave them all like that. So yeah, the wheat minion's at tier 9 now. I think I upgraded him like a couple of times since last episode. He might have been level 7 or 8. But like, wheat minion's the highest level minion right now. Followed by redstone and cobblestone at level 7. Once we get, like, I'm not going to wait until I just get the minion maxed out. But, like, once I get the collection maxed out, then I'm going to, like, probably put away the minion if it doesn't have anything I want. And eventually we'll get to 100k wheat, right? So upgrade iron main level 7. There you go. I just unlocked the enchanted lava bucket recipe, which seems pretty cool. Um, he says, I can't reach any cows. Well, how did the cows get out here, though, is the real question. And I could just leave them right now, and they'll fall straight down. Right. Should I do that? And what the heck, bro. <laughs> they, they're all dead now. And there we go. I unlocked hardened diamond armor, which I think is a good set, but mercenary armor might be better. I'm not exactly sure. It just goes, like, straight all in for defense and doesn't give any health. And it doesn't have an ability either. Like, this armor, like, has an ability. But, like, this armor doesn't. I probably could just get Hardened Diamond, honestly. Because, I mean, Hardened Diamond, I know it doesn't give any health. But, like, eventually we're going to need defense more than health, right? Alright, so we are going to unlock the Dormant Mine. So we're going to take... 10 of the resources I can, then chain resources. Alright, so we're back in the deep cave range. We're gonna have to head over to the obsidian sanctuary where the strong mobs are, but not like that strong. I probably should take Bane of Arthropods off my sword though, because I don't want that. So yeah, let's go ahead and give the guy the materials. I'll get your heart of the mountain. So there you go. We are now in the Dwarven Mines Heart of the Mountain Tier 1. And there's a Goblin Raid happening right now. Let's go talk to him again. He says, now you have access to all the deep areas of the mines. It will be something of the breaking power for, which I luckily do have. And the cool part is that this thing has a bank here, so I can really just like access my bank from here. Right? So I can literally just storm right there. There's a blacksmith if I want to reforge something. It says there's a goblin raid happening right now, which is very interesting. Now, I wonder if there's an enchantment table, because I'm going to try to chain my sword back to smite. And I don't think there's an enchantment table here, so I'll just go back to my island. But you know what? Instead of going smite, let's just go for sharpness. Oh, wait, and I got enchanting 10. And I got a pest terminator, first strike. Goodness, rejuvenate and the experimentation table recipe. Anyways, though, we got the experimentation table recipe saying place this item on your island. It's very simple. We should be able to easily make one. And boom, we made an experimentation table. I think we can place it like right around here for now. You know, we might change that. But like, for now, we got an experimentation table. But we need a chaining 20 or 25 for these experiments. So let's go ahead and just do super pairs. Oh shoot, I need 25 levels. There we go. Now that should be enough. Alright, click any button. Oh, so I didn't get anything. 4K? I mean, this one's 5.5K. Um. 
I don't remember. Okay, there you go. Got that. Got that. Oh, I got Angler 4. Not bad. So I got some stuff. I got a lot of enchanting XP, so this should load me up a few times. There it goes. So now I went from enchanting 10 to enchanting 15. And now I'm Skyblock level 6. Which is perfect, you know. We're gonna make one more Grand Experience battle. Just so I can get efficiency on my pickaxe. Because I don't know how long it'll take to mine these ores there. Boom. Efficiency 5. And the cool thing is, though, all you gotta do is click the lift operator. And we can just go straight to the door in mine. So... We don't even need to, like, go back to the Obsidian Sanctuary anymore, you know? Yeah, if we do slash autumn, we can kind of see everything. So we can unlock mining speed. And now I need Mithril Powder to upgrade it. But yeah, they give me mining speed. So yeah, these things take a crap ton of time to mine. So we are definitely going to need some haste. So yeah, we got some mithril powder, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, even with the haste potion, it still takes forever to mine these. So like, that shows basically how advanced those ores are. But let's go ahead and talk to the king, which is over... Why is there a dragon egg here? Oh! So I got a mysterious dark monolith and got 100 mithril powder. Nice! I think we're supposed to talk to the king. So yeah. Complete commissions, and I will bestow your riches. Something called Gone with the Wind started, and if you mine in the direction of the wind, you get 600 mining speed. So, yeah, we got some commissions. Mine 50 mithril ore, and then participate in any mining event. So, I think, like, the clay, like, the gray clay and, like, the prismarine is the mithril. It's really cool. And I think the event, I think it counts, though, since, I mean, there's an event called Gone with the Wind, and as long as I participate, it should count, right? So I just gotta mine in the direction of the wind. There's a little wind compass, like, showing the direction of the wind. I guess this is the direction of the wind. And then you can kind of just mine. Okay, that's not mineable. But yeah, you just mine in the direction of the wind, and that makes you mine a lot faster, right? So yeah, I have some crazy mine fatigue right now. You can kind of see it on the top. It usually wouldn't take this long to mine it, right? So yeah, I got this little white block right here. I can't mine it because I need a break in power of five. But it's not in my commission. I probably could get one, but I'm just not gonna worry about it yet, you know. I think the direction of the wind changed. If I just mine like this, I can mine like crazy fast. Unlock the mithril minion. That's really cool. Oh, I changed the direction again. Are you kidding me? Okay, whatever. Let's try upgrading our mining speed as much as we can. Okay, we got to three. But we're gonna need to upgrade our mining speed so we can mine these faster, because we are mining at a snail's pace right now, and it's just kind of sad, you know. 96, 98, 100. So there you go, we, we did the commission, and it says commission milestones unlocked. So that's pretty cool, let's go ahead and just go back to the king, and then claim our reward, whatever it is. We got killed by an ice walker, and now he's rage quitting back to the hub, that's hilarious. Let's go ahead and talk to the king. So we're getting 100 Hotem XP. Well, 900. And then we're getting a ton of Mythical Power and a lot of Mining XP. So that's pretty good, you know. We're still at Tier 1. We need 3,000 to get to Tier 2. And that could give us some really good stuff. So we're going to try to get there. We are Skybuck level 16 right now. We need Titanium Miner. Okay, so now I guess we need a better pickaxe, because I can't mine titanium with this thing. I'm pretty sure he has the stronger pickaxes. Okay, so fractured mithril, bandaged mithril, which is kind of expensive. Titanium pickaxe, which is even more expensive. And then polished titanium, which requires refined titanium. That's interesting. So we're going to get the fractured mithril pickaxe. Bandaged mithril is basically the same, but it just mines a little faster. But, yeah, it only costs 10,000. I think 30 levels hold before I can get efficiency 5 on it. But I'm going to try to get it legit. So, I think that titanium is the polished diorite, if I'm not wrong. Because it said you need a stronger tool to mine titanium. So, let's go ahead and mine that, mine that titanium, right? Since you're breaking power 5. 
So yeah, that already bring me to 50%, so I only need to mine one more. So yeah, and there's this one right here. And boom, perfect. So yeah, there we go. Now we're mining level 16, because I got 10,000 XP. And my B pet's leveling up too, which is pretty cool. And like, the cool thing about my B pet is that it also gives mining fortune, so... I could literally just mine faster with it. No, not, not faster. But I'd get more drops from it. Because I think mining speed makes us mine faster. And mining fortune makes us get more drops. So, we're still not tier 2 yet though. We're just going to keep upgrading mining speed. Because mining fast is important. So, yeah, we got the same with Mithra Miner again. But this time we have to mine 150. And not just 50. So, this is going to take a while. So, we saved ourselves 30 levels. So, that should be enough to get efficiency 5, right? There we go. So now this thing is a 55. So now it should mine faster. Oh wait, the mine speed went back down. I think when you're not in the door with mines, it doesn't show that the efficiency and chance get any mining speed. But at least you know that the raw mining speed is more on the fractured mithril pickaxe. I'm taking the coins back out because I'm gonna go ahead and reforge it real quick. What reforge can we get? We got Prospector. Oh, that gives mining wisdom. Someone's splashing XP. Ah, I just took your XP. Wait, I'm gonna need a wind pickaxe as well, because I'm gonna make a mithril minion. There we go. Time between actions 80 seconds though, that thing is crazy slow. But we did get carbon to 12, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, as I was saying, we're gonna place down the mithril minion, because you can start generating mithril, and honestly that would be pretty cool. Even though he's like super slow, but like, Mithril is good, right? Where is the minion's chest? Okay, there it is. So yeah, I'm gonna use some of my oak wood and make a um, medium storage real quick. There we go. And place him down right there. Hey, dumb spider. I'm gonna add the cobble right there, just so I can place the medium storage down. There we go. So I don't think he needs a compactor. I don't even know if the compactor even works with Mithril. Gotta put some of the stuff back, but. It is what it is, I guess. Yeah, I think we got a better pickaxe now. So let's go ahead and mine all the mithril we can. Alright, so we're at 97. 98. 99 and boom 100 so let's go back to the king now and see what he can give us and boom and now we got heart in the mountain tier 2 and skybox level 17 let's go it also says you have met two out of seven kings or ward may follow so that's pretty cool we got some new forgeable items and access to the forge. So yeah, now I have to mine 250 in upper mines for some reason. And I still have the daily bonus, it looks like. Go ahead and head to the forge with some creatures in the Rappart's Quarry. Okay. Ow. Okay. So I think we made it. The forge should be over here. So yeah, there we go. We got the forge. So yeah, there's a forger over here. And like, you put slots in them. And then you can forge stuff, right? So you can refine ore. So I refine diamond. It takes hours though, it looks like. But then you can make a bejeweled handle, which only requires 30 minutes. So like, you can make some pretty cool stuff, right? And then item casting, you can make some stuff with it. You can make a mithril pickaxe, which can give you more mithril ore if you mine the pickaxe. And I think it's way better than the bit fractured mithril. I mean, it's better. It has more mining speed. It's I know it says it has less, but then again, this thing has a 55, so that adds 110. Then you can get a travel school to the Dwarven Forge, which um, seemed really cool. That shouldn't be too hard to get, though, honestly. And then a beacon, too. Titanium Talisman. Di Diamondite. Power Crystal. And last but not least, a Bejeweled Collar, which seems pretty cool, you know? You can put it on your pet. So, yeah. I got Heart of the Mountain Tier 2, and I think that means that it's a good time to just end off the episode here. So yeah, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and peace out.